All right, got a soda tier list for today. We got about like 20 sodas here. We're gonna rank them S to F, and uh, I'm not gonna make any mistakes. Let's get into it. First of all, we got 7-Up. Now, I've had like two 7-Ups in my life, and they're just Sprite clones. And they don't even tell you what they are. See, if we look at this 7-Up right here, it's got that little red dot. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but it looks like something like a vegetable. But that's like fucking, it's lemon and lime. Like, come on. But, not a bad soda, it's lemon and lime, it's just not my Sprite. I'm gonna get C tier. A and W root beer. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't know if there's a heavy root beer fan base on YouTube. But I don't like root beer. It's mid. Not even mid. And for that, it's going D. Now, Pepsi. The worst Coke. I'm saying it's worse than Coke. Not as good. And then they have like that weird riot ad where it's like they solve like all these like riots and the police by giving them a Pepsi. I think they did that. Bruh. But I'm gonna go A tier because it's not bad. It's just not Coke. Orange Fanta. Let me tell you something about Orange Fanta. I hate it. It's bad. It's going F tier for fuck this soda. I don't like it. It's not a good soda. And I will fight anyone who tells me otherwise. That is a bad soda. There are so many better options that you can find out there. And you go with Orange Fanta. Who makes that their main soda? Who? Tell me. Please. GT Cola is just that dollar store brand. And it's Coke, but like... Brought down a notch. It's not Coke, but it's not not Coke. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm gonna go B. Because it's nostalgic, too. I used to drink that all the time. Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi and Diet Coke are not good. And they're not a diet drink. It doesn't matter if you're on a diet and you drink it. You're, it's not healthy. I don't like diet. One time I got served diet on accident. Pissed me off. Got me angry. F tier, I hate diet. Stewart's. Stewart's soda has one good brand. We'll get to that later. Orange cream fucking orange creamsicle. It's not an E tier. Coca-Cola. This right here. Almost the best soda. You know, it has some competition, but it's a solid first S tier. First S tier of the day. Solid soda. Wild Cherry Pepsi. Far superior to regular Pepsi. It outclasses it in every regard. It's got a bit of sweetness. It just outclasses it. It's just all around better. S tier. Sorry. If you paid attention to the starry lore, it was Sierra Mist. However, Sierra Mist is better. I doubt the recipe was changed, but the fact that they are advertising it as lemon lime, like it's a competition, like it can hold a candle to Sprite, infuriates me. There is no way that Starry could ever compete with Sprite. Sprite is just vastly better. You know, if you're gonna make a lemon lime soda, don't make it fight the goat. It's not good. Sierra Mist is okay. Starry is not okay. Because Sierra Mist knew what it was. It knew that it was a tier under Sprite, and it was okay with that. Then, it kind of evolves, and it thinks, huh, I can compete with Sprite, but it can't. F tier. Now we got Mountain Dew. Now I looped every single Mountain Dew into one section, because I ain't never have a Mountain Dew that I can drink and enjoy. Not only that, but for some reason when I drink Mountain Dew, I feel like I'm on coke and I just go fucking crazy. So F tier. Now Stewart's Black Cherry Soda. You know, I love me some Stewart's. It tastes good, it's filled with chemicals, it's probably gonna shorten my lifespan, but I like it. S tier. And it's nostalgic. Mug Root Beer. There's one guy on TikTok who has an obsession with Mug and I love him. There was a video of him pouring it into a hand sanitizer machine and it was like 
five minute long video of him just swiping it as it fills up a, a glass. So for that, it's going to get B tier. I don't like it, but it's going to get B. Coca-Cola Cherry. It's time to get serious. Coca-Cola Cherry. It's not good. You know, I don't know how to describe it, but the Coke flavor simply overpowers the potential that the cherry could bring to the table. You know, I like the Cherry Pepsi because the Pepsi is not an overpowering flavor. The cherry adds a little bit of uh, pizzazz to it. What the fuck? Back to what we're saying. Coca-Cola cherry, on the other hand. Coca-Cola is a powerful soda. You know, you get what you get from Coke. You add a bit of cherry in, it's like false advertising. Because you're essentially getting watered-down Coke. That doesn't even bring a cherry to the table. And for that... Because it's so upsetting, it's an upsetting drink. It bothers me. D tier for damn. That's a stupid ass p soda. I fucked up my joke. Stars and Stripes soda. The same thing as GT Cola. That dollar store brand that's nostalgic as hell because you couldn't afford real Coke. Not that kind of Coke. Coca Cola. B tier. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper gets a lot of undeserved hate. That's an old timey soda. You know, you're not expecting it to know how to use a cell phone. You get what you get from Dr. Pepper. And I like it. You know, there's better options out there. But it's not a bad soda. C tier. Diet Coke. You know how I feel about diet sodas. They're stupid. I don't like them. They're just bad versions of the original. That is not good. Schweppes. Sh Schweppes. Schweppes, Schweppes, Schweppes. Am I saying ginger ale? Whatever. Solid. A tier. Now my cat's gonna join me for this momentous occasion. Sprite, ladies and gentlemen. Sprite is one of the greatest of all time. My cat agrees. At least her tail does. And for that, we have our fourth S. Now we got cherries and cream steward soda. As I've previously stated, black cherry is the only good steward's flavor. So for that, it's going E. And I think that's about it. That's all. What the hell is that? Is that that Sprite spam? All right, here we go. Here is our Perfected soda tier list. I think there's no mistakes. I will stand by my statements. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's about it. See ya.